Hello people, I'm coming to you with an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. Um, I've had this for a little while, I just haven't had time to unbox it or even look at it and do my video. So I'm going to do it for you today. Um, as you can see, the back tells you everything you need to know. It tells you what comes in the box and it tells you how to do your diamond painting. And here's some stu other stuff that it tells you. And for you new people that don't know how to diamond paint, um, this is nice. But I will tell you one thing. You should go on YouTube and look up people because there will be a better way to tell you how to diamond paint. Now, also for you new people, you don't have to worry about when you buy this kit. You don't have to worry about anything else that you need to buy because everything you need is in this kit. Everything. Your, um, let's see what's in here. Your canvas is in here. Your color-coded diamonds are in here. Your magic diamond applicator, your comfort grip, your multi-placer and tweezers, two wax pads, crafty tray, and resealable bags, which is another good thing. You don't have to go out and buy anything to put your diamonds in because they give you bags to put them in. And then also, it says inventory sheet with pre-cut sticker labels, which I'll explain all that once I get into this and get it open. So, I'm going to take the wrapping off. I have not seen this yet. It's one of their fairly new ones. Um, I like this art, artist. Um, he doesn't have much on there, but what he does have on there is nice. And, yeah. It's just, I, I'm into it like the old time, you know, when you go to the A&W root beer stand and you sit in your car and you, they bring out your uh, food on a tray and they set it on the window. Yeah, that's kind of like what he's doing here. Um, that type of thing in the 60s cars and stuff like that. So, yeah, I like this. I think it's going to be a nice painting. Um and everything so also I'm going to show you something else when you when you go to Diamond Art Club you don't have to pay full price on none of these don't think just because it's expensive you can't afford it you can there's ways to get it now one way is join the club and every time you buy a diamond painting you'll get so many points and what do you get up to a certain amount of points you get like free shipping or you can get five dollars off ten dollars off even up to twenty five dollars off which is wonderful and that's how most of us do it also they have a thing on there when you check out that you can get um you can make payments so you so yes you're paying full price for the canvas but you're not doing it all at once you're it's like four months or four times you can uh, make a small payment rather than one big lump sum. Also, there's creators on YouTube that have a code. If you use their name in the uh, code thing, and you'll get so much off. Now, here's another way you can get your uh, so much off if you want on your diamond painting. You can unlock 10% off. I'm going to give you a thing that says scan me. Right here. Okay. Scan that. If you can scan that, then you can get 10% off a diamond painting. Now, I'm going to tell you. One thing that's different between this, between a square and a round, is that squares get tweezers, rounds don't. Also, another way to tell round from square is by this color. So when you put your stuff away, you'll know without even having to lift it up. Oh, this color is round or this color is blue, uh, square. Now, the blues are squares. The pinks, well, they kind of might look red, but they're pink. Um, they're rounds. And also another way to be able to tell is uh, right here, it says square diamond and square on the box. So, I'm going to show you what I got. 
and I can't wait for you to see it. It's called Cider Stand, and it's and it's by Bill Kruitz, and it's a diamond-shaped square. It's a 44.1 times 27.6 inches. It's 112 centimeters by 70 centimeters. Okay, and here's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. That's the painting. Isn't that gorgeous? That's going to be nice. But I'm thinking it's going to be huge. So, we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, also, while I'm at it, here's your tool kit. Your tool kit will be square or round. And in the square tool kit, you get a magic applicator, comfort grip, two wax pads, crafty tray, multi-placer, and tweezers. And, and if it was around, you wouldn't get the tweezers. Also, something else I'm gonna tell you about the uh, tool kits. They're starting to put new tool kits into your paintings. So, what they're doing is, not every painting's gonna have the new tool kit. They're trying to get rid of the old tool kits, and they're going to slowly put in the new tool kits. Okay, now, we're going to get this out of here. Okay. We'll put that over there. So for now, well, I need the box for a minute. There's a sticker, a little sticker. See this little sticker that comes with the, uh, comes with it? Some people use it as a log book. So they can log their stickers and stuff. Now, Mrs. Coffee taught me this by watching her videos that this is one of the best ideas anybody came up with. You take your sticker and you do this on your box, okay? Right where it says Square Diamond Art Club. That way when you go to put it away like this, you can see what it is. You don't have to worry about having to take 20 different paintings off. Um, you can tell what it is, and you also know that it's square. So you can decide whether you want to do square or round. Now, I think this is going to look nice. So, now, here's the thing. We're going to get into this painting, and we're going to see what it looks like. I have not seen it, so I don't know what it's going to look like. But I know it's probably going to be big. I got another one of his. And if you go on my YouTube, and if you go look at my other videos, it shouldn't be too far down. There's another one that's uh, by Bill. By Bill, um, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it's huge. It's as tall as as tall as me. Not five foot. Not five foot uh, three and a half. So here we go. Now the canvas is soft very soft canvas and it's got uh, fr fr fringed edges so that it won't start to peel and it's also poured glue. Now if it was double sided tape you wouldn't be able to do this but between poured glue and double sided tape is poured glue you can see your canvas. Now with double sided adhesive tape it's a tape that's over the canvas and you can't see it. So if you would do what I'm going to do here, you would mess up your uh, double-sided adhesive tape. What you can do is, to help this lay flat, even though it really doesn't need it, we all do it, we all roll it backwards. See what I'm doing? That's to help it lay flat. So we're doing this to help it lay flat, okay? Now, like I said, double-sided adhesive tape, you wouldn't do it. And the other thing is, like here, how you see it's bent, don't worry about that. If you see like creases in your painting, like right in here, don't worry about it. It's just the uh, cover, it's not the painting. That's another thing that's nice about the. Okay. We'll get out the diamonds. Okay, now. Here we go. We're gonna look at this painting. Okay, I told you. It's massive and it's a square. So 
so it's probably not going to all fit. Okay, so I'm going to try to do as best I can to show you the painting, but I want to get to the, the middle part, which is, which is the best part of this painting. So, now, the other reason why I said there was different ways to get discounts, I'm going to give you another one. If you put in this right here, put this in, okay, you will get 10% off. Now, this is your sticker sheet, okay? Here's the painting again, okay? And see right here, it says start date and end date. A lot of people like to know when they start it and when they end it so they know how long it took them to do this. And also it tells you everything you need to know at the bottom. And what's nice about Diamond Art Club, they gave us stickers a while back, but they but we had to cut them out. So they thought, well, it's taking too long. We want them to have fun, not have to work at it. So what they did is they took their diamond painting, or their diamond painting, and they sat here and thought, yeah, we'd rather do the painting than the stickers, the hours on the stickers. So what they decided to do was even make it more simple for us. They took the stickers. See? You just peel them off. That's all you do. Just peel it. See? Just peel it. That's it. And you stick it onto whatever container or whatever you use for your diamond paintings. And you just go about having fun. Now, I will tell you, it has 53 colors. Now, just because it has 53 colors doesn't mean it's just 53 colors. It could be 53 colors, and one color could have four bags. One color could have two bags. One color could have one bag. One color could have six bags. You never know how many bags you're gonna get with the one color. Now, the way I'm looking at this, there's gonna be a lot of green. A lot of green. So, now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get into the diamonds. Now, the thing I like about the diamonds is, and I will show you, for you people who like to keep their um, paintings separate from their uh, diamonds, it will be an easy way to tell what diamonds go with what painting. And also, it will also be easy to tell if you got two sets of diamonds like right here, that you'll know they go together. So see here, there's a sticker on here that says what painting it goes to and two of one. So you know you got two sets of stickers. And then you've got this one that says two of two, which is nice. Now, this is a massive painting. I told you it's a 44.1 times 27.6 inch. And it's 112 centimeters by 70 centimeters. So it's going to take two, two sets of and my last painting of his that I did, that I have on my website, my YouTube page, it is two diamonds, two di two bags of diamonds also. So let's get into which one do we want to do first? Two of one. So now, if you don't like the crinkle, you don't like to hear the me getting into the diamonds. You can either fast forward, or you can. Hold your ears till I'm done getting the diamonds out. Hope you guys are having a nice day. It's a blistery cold day here. It's a high. Now I'm filming this on a sat on Saturday on a Saturday, so I don't know when this video is going to go up. But on the day that I'm videoing this, it's a blistering eight degrees, and there's snow on the ground. It is cold. And we've got a little bit of a wind. So I hope it's warmer today where you're at than where I'm at. Also, uh, Diamond Art Club, before I forget, is in-housing their own diamonds. So you'll be able to know the difference between the old diamonds and the new diamonds because look at the numbers. The numbers are bigger. Okay? So let's get into this. Here we go. All right. We're going to get into this. 
Okay, here's the first one. Okay, we're gonna get into this and I'm gonna show you the diamonds. Okay, we got, here we go. We got 701, 420, 420, 420. See what I mean by saying that there could be more than one color of the same? Then you got 647, 754, 754, and 754. Okay, then you got 938. Okay, then you got 3755. Then you got 3755. Then you got 948. Then you got 3841, 3841, 3325, 3325. And then you also got 3078. Okay. 3787. 3856. And then 434. Okay. Let's go into the next one. Okay, you've got, okay, you've got 895, 895, 895. So you got how many of 895s? Let's count. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of 895s. Okay, then you got 382, 382. Then you got 382, 105, there's your first AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which means it makes all the diamonds around it shine just a little bit brighter. So if you go and do this 105, see this 105 right here? This 105, you do this 105, okay? See how it sparkles and shines? Now if you do this uh, 648, put it next to this 105, they'll shine a lot, br lot brighter. So if one shines, they all shine. Okay, so now we got 783. Okay, we got 101, there's your second AB. See how they shine? Aren't they just beautiful? That is just gorgeous. Okay, and then you got 645, okay? Now, we're gonna get into the last set of diamonds, okay? Here we go. We got 720, 3-21, 3-12, okay, 9-69, 3-7-7-8, 8-1-5, 3-5-6, 3-8-3-0, 7-3-8, 317, then we got 728, 3854, 414, 413. See, see the difference, not see the difference there between those two? One's just a little bit darker. We got 318, 646. 779, 898, 799, and 905. Okay, that is the first set of diamonds. Now, remember what I said, if you don't like the crinkling, hold on, because I'm going to pull out the next set. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty, here's the next set. Let's see what we got here. Okay, and I've got to tell you, anything over 150, anything under 150 is an AB. So, if you look at the canvas and you see anything under 150, which I just did, we're gonna get four ABs. We already saw two. We're gonna get two more. We'll see when they come up. Okay, so we got 701, 701, 322, 322, 322, 322. How many 322s we got? One, two, three, we got four of those. 
four three twos. Then we got, there's your other AB. Look at that nice green. That's going to be nice. Then there's your other AB, which is normal. Most, most paintings I see usually have this white AB. So, here you go. 758, 758, double trouble. That's what they call it. 334, 334, 334, 334. So you got four of those. Four, three, three, fours. Then you got 702, 702. 435, 775, 775, and 3371. So far, I've not seen any black. No black. So I'm wondering if there's no black in this. It'll be the first painting. Usually, most paintings, most but not all paintings, have even just a little bit of black. I have not yet to see any black in this painting. None at all. Okay, so we got three, three, seven, one, three, three, seven, one, nine, oh, four, nine, oh, four, nine, oh, four. There's three so far. Nine, oh, four, that's four. Nine, oh, four, that's five. Nine, oh, four, that's six. Wow, we got six of these. 904. No, I gotta count that. I gotta count these 904s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 904s. 690, which is this one right here. There's seven of these. Okay, so now we got 699, 700, 890, 890, 890, and 890. Let's see how many 890s we got. We got four 890s. So, it's going to be a lot of double, a lot of green in this. That's going to be, yeah, a lot of green. So, we're going to go see if we can find the ABs. Okay? Now, I love this painting. I know you can't see it all. But I'm trying to get you to see the best part of it, which is this right in here. Okay, now down here, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's a dog. Okay, and you got birds up in the sky. You've got cars over here. Looks like they're at some kind of diner or some or some place. No, it's a, a place where they make cider. Cider. Yeah, it's like a factory where they make cider. You know, the apple cider? Yeah. So, now, let's see if we can find those ABs. Right there. That whole thing right there is an AB. So that's gonna shine really, really nice. We've got, right here, some fours. That's a four. Fours. All this white you see in through here is all your fours. Okay. Now there's threes here in the cars. There's some threes. Um. There's threes down here in this wagon. Let's see what else we got. We got ones and twos. So we got ones and twos. Okay. We got two twos right here in the car. You got some twos down in here. You got twos up here. Okay. Then you got, where's your ones? I always have a problem. Oh, and I also notice too that all your flower buds down in here are fours. There's a lot of white in here. Oh, I found some ones right here. Yeah, I know you can't see it. Right here, are some ones. Okay. There's ones up in here. There's ones up in this tree. So, this is called cider stand. It must be where they make the cider. And then there's a person stand. Per, I don't know if he can. I'm going to go see real quick. Yeah, there's a person sitting right there. So. But again, I'm going to show you real quick. That's what this painting is going to look like. Just like this. 
So, this is going to be big. And it's a square. So, it's going to take some time to do. Yeah, some big time. So, if this is the size of a painting that you want, because when this guy does them, he usually does them about this big. And it's usually not round. It's usually square. And I'm going to show you again, just so you know. So it'll help you decide if you want this painting or not. Look at the size of the squares. They're not very big. So it's going to take you a while. It's going to take a while. So, now, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss my videos. And until my next video, because you never know when I'm going to post a video. Don't forget to check out more of my videos because I've got one more of his. And I just did it not too long ago, so it shouldn't be too far down. And until then, bye.